Good morning and welcome back everyone. We're off to a chilly start to the day simply because the lack of clouds without the clouds out there. We don't have anything to trap in the heating that we picked up yesterday. So that's why we're seeing 38 degrees to start off the day for Crescent City mid 30s in the Rogue Valley and then to the east of the mountains Lakeview waking up to a very chilly 18 degrees. Now we do have the perfect conditions for some fog to be forming out there as well simply because we have the moisture already on the ground and the lack of wind. So the lack of anything to break it up. The good Good news though is most of us are in the clear. Once we hit 10 miles ahead, we call that an unlimited visibility. It's just down to Crescent City that we're seeing one mile ahead because of that patchy fog and Roseburg as well. So throughout Douglas County, be looking out for some early morning patches of fog for that commute. Now, while we saw very mild conditions yesterday off in the Midwest and into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys, that's where the weather was very active, dropping down 13 tornadoes throughout the state of Illinois and then down into Tennessee. Wind speeds reached 89 miles an hour. As we can see on the satellite and radar, if you are traveling off to the west, just make sure that you're double checking those flights because here's that line of showers that dropped off the tornadoes yesterday. It's continuing to keep around its intensity, creating not only winter weather advisories for the northeast, but high wind warnings as well as some flash flooding potential out there. So everywhere from Florida all the way up to Maine going to be looking for another very significant weather day. Now for us, we're continuing to watch the rain showers we had earlier this week. Keep pushing their way off to the east and leaving the best chance for snowflakes. Well, you got to go up to either Idaho or Montana. For us, though, as we work our way toward the weekend, we're bringing in this pocket of dry air. What that is is an area of high pressure, and as the high pressure inches its way closer, not only are we going to continue to clear out the clouds, but start to warm up those temperatures. Temperatures today for the coast continue into once we get rid of those clouds, push our way toward 60 degrees in the Brookings area. The rest of us just working our way toward the mid 50s into Siskiyou County, keeping around the mixture of sunshine and clouds. Best chance for the clouds is going to be this morning and then getting rid of them throughout the day. So just warming up a couple degrees from yesterday and seeing some mid 50s. Mid to upper 50s in store for southern Oregon's valleys where we are going to keep around the clouds throughout the bulk of the day, but those peaks of sunshine are going to be just enough to warm us up almost five degrees from yesterday to the east of the mountains, continuing to calm down those winds and also seeing some mid 40s for high temperatures today and across the mountains, not feeling too bad for you either. We're going to add in some more sunshine and that's going to be enough to warm up temperatures in prospect to the mid 50s. For the coast next couple of days, sunshine's going to bring us up near 60 degrees for the weekend as well as into the start of next week. It won't be until the middle of the week, so closer to Wednesday, that we're bringing in that next best chance for some rain showers. In the basin, the lack of clouds is bringing us a chilly start to the day, not only for today, but over the weekend. The lack of clouds is also going to counter that with some comfortable high temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. Northern California seeing those extremes as well without the clouds. We are going to continue to see mostly sunny sky, bring us up to the mid 50s and lower 60s for the weekend and start of next week. But to counter that, we are looking to be near 30 degrees to start off the day thanks to the lack of clouds. For the Rogue Valley, temperature wise, we aren't going to be quite as extreme, but still seeing very chilly starts to the day as we wrap up the weekend because the lack of clouds out there again means the lack of anything to trap in the daytime heating. But mostly sunny sky for the weekend means we're going to be working our way to the lower 60s and make sure you don't have that rain jacket packed away too far because while we are going to see a sunny weekend, the middle of next week is going to be when we start to bring along that next best chance for some rain showers. So hopefully that's going to be enough to help us out a little bit more with these severe drought conditions. Yeah, all right. Thank you for the insight, Liz.